Hey Plush fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. If you're new here, remember to hit that little subscribe button down below, that way you don't miss out on any new videos here on my channel. And if you're a polish addict like I am, you're in the right place. I love to talk about nail polish, show you new nail polish collections, my hauls, everything nail polish related. So if you want to join in on the polish talk, feel free to comment down below as well. In today's video, I am sharing my Lights Lacquer haul. I was a big fan of KL polish when that was still around. I have quite a few of her polishes from that previous brand and they're really, really gorgeous. I just had not gotten around to placing an order with Lights Lacquer and they ended up having a sale. So I snatched up some of the polishes that I had been eyeing as well as her entire summer collection. So let's dig in. So here's what I got. I've got the float on collection. We'll be unboxing that here shortly as well as four single polishes. So let's open those first. First off, I love the packaging. This is so adorable. You've got the little, I think these are like nail shapes down here with little windows into the polish and the name peeking through on the bottom. Really nice touch to the box as well. This one did get a little bit dinged up, but not to worry. I don't usually keep my boxes. So this first one here is this beautiful lilac jelly. This one is lilac wine and this one is gorgeous. So this is definitely going to be sheer. I don't remember which collection this one came out in, but she did have another polish that was also jelly that I ended up getting from that collection as well. So this one, like I said, is a jelly polish. It will be sheer on the nail, but that's exactly why I wanted to get it. I have done a couple of jelly sandwiches actually maybe only one, <laughs> but it made me want to do more. So I got this one as a true polish instead of using up all of my Quixotic base coat that I had used last time. And this is a gorgeous shade of lilac. So let's go ahead and see how this one looks. Now I will be swatching it over these nail polish swatches that have been painted white. They had polish underneath, but I had run out, so that was the only way I could get the swatches in, so hopefully that's all right. So this first one, like I said, is Lilac Wine, and a beautiful wash of lilac color, very soft and beautiful. Hopefully that's coming across on camera. It is subtle, but I can definitely see compared to the white swatch next to it that it is definitely a blush of lilac. And if you're curious about what else is on this nail ring, I recently swatched the Orly Fall 2021 collection. That was the Wild Natured collection. I'll post the link up above in the cards. That way you can check it out if you'd like. And I also did a mini side-by-side -side comparison of the little freebie polish that they sent. And I say a little, but it was 11 milliliters. So that's still a, a really good size. But that was one coat of Lilac Wine. We're gonna let that one dry. I'll come back later with the second coat of everything. So that first one, was Lilac Wine. Such a gorgeous shade. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing around with that one. Next up is this beauty. I can see orange peeking through. And this one. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> this one is Who Loves Orange Soda. Look at that bright orange. So I had to get a couple of summer oranges. I know I did get a couple of orange polishes in the Orly Summer Collection, but I have been looking for a polish that's that sort of papaya orange, and I definitely don't have anything that was quite as dark as what I was thinking of, and also not as pink. It, like, think a, a mix between an orange and a coral polish, leaning on the darker side of things, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but I know this doesn't quite fit the bill. This is definitely more of a brighter orange. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of but it is a bright, vibrant shade of orange. It is a cream polish. So let's go ahead and see how this one swatches. And I love the brushes on these bottles, by the way. Ooh, so this is a little squishy. I like that. Ooh, so that is just one coat of Who Loves Orange Soda. I will say, at least from my angle on the camera that I'm on my viewfinder, it's washing it out quite a bit. It's pulling a lot of the yellow out and it's definitely more, think orange neon with a pinch of pink in there. It's really beautiful. And I love the squishy factor to it as well. That's gonna make it really fun to play around with and use in different manis. That is a beautiful orange. So that was the first coat of Who Loves Orange Soda 
a really fun one for summer. Next up, this is one that I have been eyeing for a while. I think you might be able to see purple peeking through. <laughs> so this one is Xenon, and look at this sparkle. So gorgeous. I definitely want to get at least one more from this trio that she had released. It is, a, I think, more of a blurpily shade of this sparkle, but this one is more of a fuchsia-leaning purple. You've got blue shimmer in there as well as what I believe is fuchsia holographic glitter in here. It is really beautiful. The swatches of this were very gorgeous, and of course, I'm a sucker for shades like this. Anything in the purple family and actually on camera, at least from, again, from my angle, I'm seeing a lot of that blue, which in person from my angle over here, back here, is a lot more of the berry fuchsia tone of things. So it's gonna be very, very shifty. So let's see how this swatches. Ooh, that is lovely. So it's a little on the squishy side, which as I've said before, with this type of polish, you definitely want a little bit of a squish factor that way you can see all of the goodies in it the beautiful wash of color for that first coat i love all the sparkles that i'm seeing and the different colors i can see a lot of little micro glitters going on as well as that shimmer and that fuchsia holographic glitter in a slightly uh, larger size but beautiful on that first coat so that was one coat of Xenon and we'll come back with uh, like I said with two coats of everybody here later next up is that other sheer jelly polish that I was telling you about this one came out in the same collection as lilac wine and this little beauty is called Marie and this one was so beautiful this is definitely going to be a sheer polish I think she said you might be able to get opacity if you really build it up but it's not meant to be an opaque polish. It's definitely meant to be sheer. So this is a nice blush color. It's a little bit corally, a little bit pinky, a little nudey. So you can choose to wear this in one coat for just a slight wash of color and then layer some other patterns over it, do some stamping, and then maybe put another coat of this over it or do some nail art. It was really beautiful. I really liked the versatility of this, and I definitely don't have anything quite like this in this shade. I do have some milkier nude tones, I think from like Wet n Wild that I got years and years ago, but nothing quite this rosy, and I loved that about this. So let's go ahead and see how Marie swatches. Oh yeah, very nice. Just a light wash of that blush tone really pretty. Again, I'm not sure how well that's going to come across on camera, but just compare it to the white nail next to it, and you can see that light wash of color. And again, I think that's going to be a beautiful polish to use in nail art and for layering jelly sandwiches for sort of a your nails but better with glitter in them <laughs> look. I think that'll work beautifully. So that was one coat of Marie. Now onto the Float On collection. This was her summer collection. So we've got our little welcome card here. Then we've got the polishes. Ooh. So we've got six beautiful shades. Most of them are creams. I think we've got four creams and one shimmer and one hollow. So let's start with the hollow. This was one of the ones that I was most excited about, although I was pretty excited about each and every color, which is why I bought the entire collection, which I don't normally do. <laughs> so look at this. This is a beautiful blurpily purple and it is holographic. Lovely tone to this color and I love all of the holographic sparkle that I'm seeing. This reminds me a little bit of one of the colors that I've been eyeing from Hollow Taco, which I can't remember offhand what it was called. I'm trying to remember to put it down there. It was something like water, sparkling water, which it was a blue, but it was a blurple. Not saying it's a dupe, just saying it sort of reminds me of that. And it's lovely. Of course, I'm a sucker for purples. And anytime it's a blurple, I get even more excited. So let's go ahead and see how this one swatches. Ooh, really opaque on that first coat. Wow. So that is just one coat. Did I even say what this one was called? 
I did not. So that is Booze Cruise. That is just one coat of Booze Cruise and it is a very opaque, gorgeous tone. I can tell already it's going to be a favorite. It is gorgeous. So that first one again was Booze Cruise. Really love that one. The next one is their blue and I had really been looking for summer blues. Um, I think I've heard it around the nail polish community that this summer we didn't seem to get a lot of summer blues. We got a lot of oranges, we got greens, we got purples, but we didn't really get a lot of blues. And so I was looking for this particular shade of blue, or at least this family of blue, sort of on the turquoise aqua while still being a nice bright summer shade. And then I saw this one. This is called Send Noodles, and it is such a fun turquoisey aqua shade kind of in the same family as the mints that I've really been enjoying for spring and summer. <laughs> so I was really excited to see this one and the swatches that I saw were really beautiful. So let's go ahead and see how Send Noodles looks on the nail. Oh, nice. Very creamy. Wow. That is lovely. Very nice shade. I would almost say on the nail, what I'm seeing is a light little bit of dustiness to it, which I'm not mad at. I was sort of expecting it to be a little bit brighter, but we'll see how it looks in two coats. But in any case, it is a lovely shade of turquoisey blue. Really like that one. So that was just that first coat of Send Noodles. Next up is their green, sort of a bright lemon green, if that is such a thing. <laughs> So this one is called Bikini Bottoms, and I guess technically this one might be a yellow, but it is one of those highlighter shades that to me, I tend to see them as greens, although I could see how they would be yellows as well. In fact, you can see a little band of yellow pigment that is sort of settled along the base. So let's give this one a good shake. But this is definitely one of those shades that I don't have a lot of. In fact, I had been talking about trying to find a polish that was in this range of like in between lemon and lime in a very bright neon, which this one to me, at least to my eyes, <laughs> is pretty neon. I mean, it's it's definitely got white in it. So I would say that it's probably more like a sun bleached neon, but it is a beautiful, still vibrant shade. So I'm excited to see how this one works and use it in nail art. Cause I think this one will let, uh, add a beautiful poppy color to um, some nail art. Oh, very nice. Definitely green leaning in its yellow tone. Really liking that. Good creamy formula. Most people will need a second coat, but it is a really beautiful shade. And like I said, pretty unique to my collection so far because I still don't have that many polishes in that color family. So that was the first coat of Light Slacker Bikini Bottoms. Now we're moving on to an orange. Definitely filling these summer oranges. So this beauty is called Mr. Brightside. And this one is a shimmer polish. So this is a lovely juicy orange color just to compare it to Who Loves Orange Soda. I mean, there's not really a comparison because they are two different types of polish, but as far as tone goes, Who Loves Orange Soda is definitely more on the bright side of things, while Mr. Bright Side is more bright in its shimmer, if that makes any sense. <laughs> In any case, that was just a little side-by-side -side comparison. I don't know if that was exactly necessary, but I thought I would since I had two oranges in this haul. But look at that shimmer. Really beautiful gold glass fleck shimmer to this polish. And I want to say that I had seen a little bit of pink at some angles. I'm not sure if that's going to come across on camera, but along the edge of the bottle there, at certain angles, I can see a little bit of what I think is pink popping up. So there may be an even smaller shimmer particle in here as well to add a little bit of depth to the polish. But look at this beautiful orange shade, really beautiful shade. So let's see how Mr. Brightside swatches. Oh yeah, nice and shimmery, beautiful color there. And I definitely don't have any oranges like this in my collection. Beautiful tone, especially for summer which makes sense since this is an entire summer collection, <laughs> but uh, it's gorgeous. So that was just one coat of Mr. Brightside. Now we're moving on to the pinky purples. This first one is more of a hot pink shade, and this one is called Donna. This is a gorgeous shade of pink. 
I got this because if you watched my video on um, the mid-year freak out tag, one of my favorite polishes of the year so far is Zoya Lola and that has sent me on this rabbit hole of finding more pinks that I like and from the swatches of this one this sort of is in that same family as being a little bit I guess cool tone leaning in its pinkness and it's a gorgeous cream polish so I was really excited to add this to my collection and to give it a try. As regulars to my channel will know that pink is one of those colors that I didn't used to be a fan of but it has been growing on me so I'm excited to try this one. So let's see what one coat of Donna looks like. Ooh, it's got a little bit of a squish factor which I love with this sort of a shade. Beautiful color. Really liking this one. Now this again is over white, so that'll give you a good example of what this looks like in just one coat over a white base. So you could wear it that way if you wanted to save pigment, you wanted to save your polish. But beautiful on that first coat. So that was one coat of Donna. And then lastly, we've got this sort of purple, and this one is called Skip It. And this is inspired by the toy. I am a big fan of this color. It is a gorgeous shade. Now, again, if you are a regular on my channel, you'll know that I am a huge fan of purples. And I, oddly enough, don't think I have anything like this in my collection. So I'm really excited to swatch this and wear it. It is a beautiful shade of this purple. So let's go ahead and see what Skip It looks like. Now, there was a little bit of a worry when I was seeing the swatches that this one might be a lot more like Donna, but in person, they're definitely different. So this one has more of a purple tone to it, a little bit more of a creamy formula. I don't think it's as jelly-like as Donna was, but beautiful on that first coat. So that gives you a good side-by-side -side comparison. Donna is already dry. You can see that because of the brighter, maybe even neon pigments in there, she does dry a bit matte, um, but that's typical of neons. And I'm curious to see how Skip It is going to dry, but it, that is a beautiful shade. And you can definitely see more of that purple tone to it. Really like that one. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and add that second coat to everything and then come back and show you. All right, so here we've got two coats of everybody. I think this collection and the four that I got here on the side past Marie are really gorgeous polishes. So overall, I'm really excited about my purchases. I love the collection all in all. That is starting here with Booze Cruise going all the way over here to Skip It. And then the four separate ones that I got over here starting with Lilac Wine and ending with Marie. Beautiful colors. The formula on all of these I found to be really lovely. I love the brush, love the bottle, love the handle as well. The caps on these are sort of a semi-matte finish. Not as rubbery or soft as the ones from Orly, but I really love those. So here is everything in two coats. We've got two coats of lilac wine. I think you can get a better look at the beautiful light shade of lilac that that one is in two coats. Then we've got Who Loves Orange Soda. That is another one that dries to a matte finish. So I would definitely recommend a glossy top coat. And if you wanted to get it back to that matte finish, you could use a matte top coat. That was a great suggestion by one of you viewers. Then we have this one, which was called Xenon. This is the sparkly glitter balm here that I've got. Then we have two coats of Marie. This was that other beautiful jelly. And again, really excited to do some nail art with that one. Then moving on into the summer collection, we've got Booze Cruise. That is this lovely holographic polish. This one was Send Noodles, a lovely shade. That second coat really helped smooth things out and enrich the color, but I still think with that one, if you were careful enough on one coat, you might be able to get it opaque with that first coat. Moving on to our beautiful yellow green. This one is Bikini Bottoms. This is another one that's gonna dry into a matte finish. Then we've got Mr. Bright side. This is this lovely juicy orange with that gold glass fleck shimmer. Moving on to our bright pink, we've got this one, Donna, and I absolutely love this color. I'm so glad I ended up getting the entire collection. I had sort of gone back and forth between picking out just a couple, getting the whole collection, picking out a couple, and I'm really glad that I ended up just getting them all. I really, really love this color. Again, this shade and tone and family of pinks is just really speaking to me for some reason, which is very unusual, <laughs> but I like it. So that was two coats of Donna. And this one dries to sort of a semi-matte finish. Really beautiful. 
Then we're moving on to our purple. This is Skip It. And this is definitely a unique purple to my collection, which again is sort of odd because I love purples and I have a lot, a lot of purples. So to not have a shade like this in my collection is a bit odd, but I can't think of one. There we go. That was my haul from Lights Lacquer. Overall thoughts, I love it. I, I'm really impressed with the formulas. I love the brush. Like I said, I love the cap. And I'm really happy with the summer collection as a whole. I think these colors are gorgeous. And I've got at least a few in here, if not all of them, that are unrivaled in my collection so far. Let me know down below which ones were your favorites and if you've got this collection in your collection and how you've liked it compared to other summer collections that came out this year. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me and taking a look at the Lights Lacquer Summer Collection. Make sure again to like and subscribe down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.